Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create a video and videos. A robust cloud-based video animation software with which you can create studio quality videos using professionally designed pre-made video templates. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch this video's overview video. I'm going to create a video trailer for my YouTube channel. It's going to be a short 45 second video. In fact, the one you're seeing right now is the one that I'm going to be creating. So let's get started. First, let me briefly explain to you the video creation process involved. In step one, we need to determine the storyboard. I'll keep things simple for the purpose of this demo. So I'll include an intro, the main video, and an outro. For my intro, I'll use a logo animation template called Digital Technology Tunnel. For the main part of the video, I'll use a template called Action Teaser. And my outro will be a short call to action, and I'll use a template called Text Distortion. In step two, we need to find the video templates and videos as mentioned above. We'll create and render the individual scenes based on the templates we choose. And finally, in step three, we'll compile all the scenes mentioned above using a video editor. And I'll also add a music track, and we'll render the final video. So I'm logged into videos. I'll use the search box and type in digital and hit enter. So this is the logo template I'm looking for. I'll hover my mouse over the template and I'll click the customize button. It'll bring me to this page providing me details about the template. I'll click on this button to customize the template. It'll open the video editor. I'll click on this button to upload logo images. I'll choose the logo image and click open. So here is the upload a logo. I'll click next step. And here we can change the colors if you want to. For the circuit lines, I'll go with gray. And for the accent color, I'll go with red. And click next step. It'll start processing the live preview. Now the preview is essentially static frames. Finally, we can click the Create Video button, and we'll start the video rendering process. The time it takes to render the video will depend on the type of logo template you choose. But if you remain on this page, it will show you the rendering progress. This particular template took me about 15 minutes to render. I'll download the video. So this is essentially the intro part of the video. Next, we'll create the main part of the video. I'll go back to the home page. And I'll use the search box to look for the action teaser template. So this is a template. I'll hover my mouse over it and click the customize button. This page is similar to the other template I showed you. I'll click the customize button and it'll open the video editor. In this section, we upload our images by clicking the browse images button, choosing the image, and clicking open. I'll go ahead and upload all the rest of the images to the respective image placeholders, like so. I'll click Next Step. Here we can enter text in these boxes. I'm only going to enter text in box number 13 and 14. And I'll click Next Step. In this tab, you can change the colors of various elements. I'm going to change both these colors to white, like so. And then click Next Step. You'll then start processing the live preview. The preview is essentially static frames like I mentioned earlier. Finally, we can click the Create Video button and it'll start the rendering process. The time it takes to render will depend on the type of logo template you choose like I mentioned earlier. But if you remain on this page, it will show you the rendering progress. This particular template took about 15 minutes to render. So I went ahead and downloaded the video and then use the same action teaser template to render another video because I had more images to add. Finally, for the outro video, I chose this template called Text Distortion. The process is similar to the other templates that I showed you. So once you render all the videos, it's now time to put them all together using a video editor. I use Movavi Video Editor, but you can use any other one. And as you can see, I've got my video clips here. I trimmed some of the parts in the video clips that I did not want. I also added a music track. 
and finally rendered my YouTube channel video trailer. You can take a look at it to see how it came out. You'll find the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this video's tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.